Jim's in now, and the number one team trying to remain that way. Yeah, yeah, Duke, I remember them well when they beat the Hawkeyes, you know, in the NCAA, and they just kept rolling right along, seemingly unstoppable. The number one team in the country did get a scare tonight from 23rd rated Florida State. The Seminoles giving the Blue Devils a little bit of a run for it. Off the miss, Florida State goes on the break. Charlie Ward dives off to Doug Edwards for the jam. Seminoles up this time, 60 to 59. But the Blue Devils turn it on, final two minutes. Look at Grant Hill, look at that quickness and speed. Takes it on the run for two after a late explosion. Duke wins 75-62, their best start ever, or at least they tie it with 16-0. Big Ten tonight, Ohio State visiting Illinois. Lou Henson not happy with this one. Buckeyes dominated the first half. Bill Robinson gets a follow slam. Ohio State led 18 at the half. But Illinois made a run for it the second half. Deion Thomas with a turnaround jumper. The Illini within one, but Ohio State holds on for a two-point win, 74-72 couldn't happen to a better school. And Arizona, Lute Olson and company, and they're on a roll once again. They're number nine in the country. They beat Oregon tonight, 104-253. And in the second half, Tulane is leading Florida, or Southern Mississippi, 71-57. to Overtime, North, C, North Carolina Charlotte over Louisville, 77-68, battle of rated teams. Second half, it's Texas El Paso leading Utah, 51-50, to and UNLV leads Utah State, 65-55, also in the second half. And Tulsa in the Valley defeated Bradley, 71-61. Well, there's more trouble, unfortunately, for the Iowa State basketball team tonight. Reserve forward Donnell Bibbins was arrested last night for shoplifting at a supermarket. He later pleaded guilty to fifth-degree theft, paid a $20 fine, and was released. Bibbins practiced today, but won't play against Nebraska on Saturday. Coach Johnny Orr said Bibbins made a mistake, and he's paying for it. Bibbins will be allowed to return when the Cyclones play Missouri on February 5th. Just four days ago, another Cyclone forward, Sean Jackson, was arrested for aggravated assault and was suspended indefinitely. The Drake women's basketball team was in action tonight. The Bulldogs hosting Southwest Missouri State. Both teams got off to a slow start midway through the first half. Drake's Deb Haroldson hits the baseline jumper, but Drake trailed five to four. The Bears pulled away in the second half on a break. Melody Howard goes in for the layup. Drake down by 15 at halftime. And uh, Drake came back in the second half, but fell short in the final score, 64 to 60. Well, with their 13-game winning streak over, I didn't think they'd ever lose. The Bulls were looking to start another run tonight, and they're playing the Rockets down in Houston. And let's take a look at that. The Rockets took a 13-point lead in the first half. Bulls trying to cut it. Bill Cartwright with a hook. Chicago still trails 52. And there we go. Two 41. The Rockets in control most of the way. Otis Thorpe down the middle for a dunk. They hold on to win 105-102. Bulls lose two straight for only the second time this season. They still have a team to beat. Everybody knows that. Cleveland 115, Orlando 98. And in the fourth quarter, L.A. Lakers lead Denver by a score of 92-85. Finally, number of games in the NHL tonight. Boston over Calgary 3-1. Philadelphia defeated Minnesota 5-3. New York Islanders over Pittsburgh 8-5. New York Rangers lead Los Angeles 1-0 St. Louis and San Jose. What's San Jose doing with hockey? One to one. Uh -huh. And Chicago and Vancouver, they are zero to zero. And uh, yeah, San Jose with hockey. But hockey is getting popular, I guess, every Even place in the country. Even in warm places. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love Thank those warm places. Uh -huh. Well, we got warmth right here. Gary's right. going to have our weather for us in right. just a moment. And Domino's Pizza is changing its recipe. Find out why when we come back.